let's make some pixel art with Excel. First we need to open Excel. If you are on a school computer, you can go to the Start menu and All Programs. Look for Microsoft Office and inside Microsoft Office you'll find Microsoft Excel. The first time it opens, it'll ask you if you, well, what your name is and it might have another pop-up click the top option, click OK. That only shows up once per computer. Alright, so now we're in Excel. And to start off, we're going to want to make all these cells into squares, because pixels are squares. Now I could go through and resize each one individually, but that's going to take forever. And also I'll be prone to making lots of mistakes. So I'm going to click over here in this corner here. And that selects all the cells. All the rows, all the columns. Now if I resize one, all of them get resized. Now I want these to be squares. If you look, there's two numbers up there. The number I want to care about is the second number. So the one that right now says 208, that's the one that's important. I recommend making your cells be somewhere between 30 and 50 pixels as their dimension. So like 50 pixels, that's going to be pretty decent. You won't be able to put a lot of detail in, but it's not going to be too large. 30 might work a little bit better for you, but it's your choice, not mine. Okay, and let's make this 50 pixels tall. There we go. So now each of these is a square, and I can even go in and measure that. By the way, I will go in and measure that, so keep that in mind. All right, now we need to color these. I have two ways to add colors up here. One is by changing the font color. Don't do that. The other is by changing the fill color. That's what we're going to mess with. So, if I select an area, and let's say I want this area to be yellow, I go up here and I click on the paint bucket, and now the whole area is yellow. Yay, go me. But what if I didn't want it to be yellow? What if I wanted it to be black? I'll select a different area up here and next to the paint bucket there's a little triangle and now I've got all these other colors to pick from and I could even click more colors if I wanted even more colors to be available I'm not gonna worry about that right now because blacks right there okay now I don't have to select each individual cell I can copy paste so I could select these two cells and control C to copy and this little blinking line going around tells me what area I've copied. Click over here and notice how I've only clicked one cell? That's going to be the top leftmost cell of whatever I've selected. Command V, or Control V rather, because I'm on PC, and now it's pasted it. Now if I copy just one cell, I can select a larger area and still paste in. There we go that, paste it there, copy, paste, paste, paste. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Oh, one last thing, because if you're doing the Excel Sprite project, you do need to have your username in cell A1. The cells are named for the columns and the rows that they're in. So this is column A, column B, column C, column D, you get the idea. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. A1 is right there. Now you might think, I don't have enough room for my username there. And you're sort of right, but not really. I'm going to put my username in right now. Now, visually, there isn't enough room for my username in cell A1 because I made it too small. The Smith part goes into cell B1. But if I click on B1, there's no content up here. If I click on A1, there is. So far as Excel is concerned, all of my content is in cell A1. Visually, it's making it run out into the other cells. But I could put a whole story in there. I could write paragraphs in here. And Excel wouldn't care. It would consider that all to be in cell A1. It's kind of neat, but also kind of confusing. So, to save this, it's really easy. 
you just go up to this little icon up here and click and the first time you do that it'll ask you what you want to name it hit save and congratulations you've saved your work there's no screen capture there's no opening it in GIMP this is the file I'm going to want you to hand in if you have any questions feel free to ask